As I've been reflecting on the events that are still unfolding here in Wilmore, my heart has been filled with a profound sense of gratitude for the grace and goodness of God. I'm not even sure what to call this beyond the fact that we are clearly experiencing an extraordinary season when God is at work in a special way. And while many are at a loss to put to words all that we see unfolding, my mind is continually brought back to Acts 2. When the crowds wondered, what does this mean? Peter reminded them of God's promise from Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Like those in the first century, we stand in awe of the work of God. I'm sure that at some point in time, this extraordinary demonstration of God's love and peace will likely subside. But that does not mean that God is not still powerfully at work. I've heard people wondering, what should come next? Well, all we have to do is look a little further in Acts to know what the early believers did. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayers. Right now, we are basking in the presence of the living Christ, and I pray that this outpouring of the Spirit raises up a new generation like those early Christians who are deeply devoted to Scripture, dedicated to the community of believers, to the means of grace, and to lives of unceasing prayer, so that we may take what we have so abundantly received to those who have not yet seen or heard. And may we do so in the love of Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and to the glory of our great God and Father.